previously on Miss President. We've realized that, you know, there's that um, warrior disparity in as far as the essence of a logo and understanding names and so on. As Malimu said, um, aspects of that were not very well put together. So he put it down on paper. Okay. We want those logos done. And lastly, your political party slogan, which Malimu was calling the clarion call. Interesting to see what the process is when thinking and coming up with a design for a logo. What do we want to communicate? What colors do we choose? What about the overall design? The icons? The symbolism? Is it too busy? What about the party name and slogan? As Mwalimu referred to it as the clarion call. The groups also reviewed their party names. Octagon party changed to Mwanzo Umpia party. Ubuntu party changed to Amkemi People's Party. People's Patriotic Party changed to Sauti Mpia Party. And Mustard Seed Party retained their name. Let us wait for the presentations. The name of the party is Mwanzo Mpia Party now referred to as MMP and the reason why we are electing Manzompio party is because we want to depart from the past historical injustices of bad governance Kenny People's Party felt that as a country it is time to awaken to the new dawn together. I am because you are. You are because I am. Kama si sasa. Ni sasa hivi. Kama si sasa. Ni sasa hivi. Guvu yetu. Watu wetu. Guvu yetu. Watu wetu. Sauti Mpia Party will ensure every member of our party can participate on an equal platform. TMSP! TMSP! Begusafi! Why the mustard seed? Because we believe that that very small seed grows into becoming a large tree that will then serve the entire country. Mwasikia, siyo? Sasa ya tafakari. Kwa hivyo, kwa hayo, asanteni. Na tuonane kwa debe! And now, a quick look at the parties before elimination. Remember, somebody from each party will be going home tonight. Arubaini, eh? all under one roof, fighting for one position. Miss President, this competition is getting crazier and tougher. Let me tell you, I have never seen such passion. Women who are amazing, creative, intense, and there are many ways to describe them, but the one word that comes to mind that sums it all up is inimitable. So, Takunita Tena, is Kenya ready for a female president? Are these contestants ready to lead? In this coming episode, the contestants will undergo training tasks various challenges and problem-solving activities, presentations, and finally, 
the dreaded eliminations who eventually end up with one winner, Miss President. This is Miss President. Over 1,000 applications were received from all over Kenya and from these, 70 contestants were shortlisted. After a series of auditions, 40 women were selected and they will battle it out at the academy where they will go through a process of training, tasks, challenges, problem-solving activities, presentations and eliminations to eventually be elected Miss President. Now, since leadership doesn't work in a vacuum, the contestants are divided into four groups. Leaders are required to work with people from all walks of life. While working within these groups, the contestants will be tested on their ability to lead or work as part of a team. You can be sure that at every stage of this competition, you will be at the edge of your seat as these capable women try to convince the judges and you at home why they should make it to the next stage of the competition. Now, let's meet our esteemed judges for this episode. I'm Dr. Zipora Okoth. I'm a lecturer of film and theatre arts at Kenyatta University. I'm also the founder of the Lake International Pan-African Film Festival. I'm a gender consultant and a performing artist. I'm looking for people who are informed, presentable, firm, and have a purpose. Hi, I'm Jerry Kirene. I work in the policy environment, helping various small groups lobby for better laws for business. I'm a tough judge. I'm no nonsense. The minute you come before me, you better know your stuff. If you don't, well, you can only expect a challenge. Uh, my name is Maina Mwirori. I'm a journalist. My area of specialization is political analysis. I am looking for coherence in articulation of ideas of leadership. The presidency being the highest political office in the land, this will matter a lot. In today's episode, the contestants will be trained on communication and protocol. Hi, my name is Christine. I'm a training consultant. I'm the founder and lead trainer at Soft Skills Limited. We train in people's skills, relational skills, such as customer service, such as etiquette, which are the unwritten rules of conduct, and also communication. Let's talk about communication, what communication is and what it's not. Please talk to me, someone, what's communication? Uh, communication is a way of conveying message from one person to another or to a group of people in a clear and elaborated manner. Is communication easy? Yes it is or no? not easy. Communication is not easy. I want the person who thinks communication is easy. Communication can be easy if, if you use the correct medium and the correct language and your expression is very clear. Is communication easier for women or for men? I was sure that would cause debate. <laughs> I was very sure that would cause debate. I think generally communication is easier for women and we're able to communicate either verbally or through body language or just a look says it all. So I think generally women are more able to communicate, in my opinion. It depends on how we understand each other. Women communicate differently, men com communicate differently. The problem is we do not understand certain ways of communication. Women communicate differently than men do. I think we talk more doesn't necessarily mean we communicate better. But we do talk more, don't we? We, we say more words per day. Okay? What is protocol? In simple language, protocol is simply observing who speaks first followed by who. I think for me, protocol is the flow of things, the orderly way that things that flow. That things flow. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a good definition. That's a good definition. Do you think protocol is important? Yes. Why is protocol important? I think uh, protocol is important because it maintains order. Okay. Do you think sometimes protocol can become a barrier? Yes. There are times when protocol becomes a problem. It interrupts the communication. Now, what makes a good communicator a good communicator? A good communicator is the one who communicates precisely and clearly and talks to the people so that they can listen and understand what he means or she means. Communication is not necessarily what I'm saying. 
communication is what you're hearing. So effective communication only occurs when the receiver has understood. Yeah? Speak in the language that you speak best and most of all, speak in the language that is understood by the people to whom you're speaking. That's what makes a good communicator. What do you want to remember when you're, when you're in verbal communication? I think one of the things that you want to put in check with verbal communication is tone of voice. Uh, the language. The language is very key. I can't speak to you Kiswahili when maybe Kikamba is most importantly or Kikoyu to you. With verbal communication, choice of words is very key because you might choose some words that are spiteful to the audience. What is good listening? I think that a good listener is the one who pays attention to you, what you're saying, uh, in terms of looking straight at you in the eyes and maintaining eye contact, which makes you feel important and also makes you feel like you're really contributing to uh, having the conversation. The danger of not listening, first of all, you will misinterpret what I'm saying and also you interrupt me and you can also uh, confuse the flow of thoughts from, the me, from me as the speaker. Listening to people is how you get wise. We really, really must move to internet-based communication. You want to be very, very careful what you put on the internet. Someone mentioned that when you're in communication, only 7% are the words I'm saying. The rest of it is body language and everything and everything. Now, when you're, when you're writing an email, when you're writing a letter, all you have is that 7%. How do you decide that this needs to be an email? Uh, email communication in many instances is official communication, so to maybe business associates or something that you want to have on record, f uh, mainly for businesses or official purposes. Beautiful. I was looking for the word record. Anything that has to be recorded needs to have been written down. So if we have this conversation on, on phone or we have this conversation verbally, I will follow it up with an email. And I think in most cases as leaders, we need to think about how is our emotional status before you respond to an email or you, before you write that letter so that you don't come off as, you know, you are angry and, and, and all that. And lastly, let's also watch our email addresses. How is your email address written? Is it Juicy Mary 2010? Pink Mercedes. Pink Mercedes. At, at gmail.com. Gmail. And you are the leader. That doesn't work. That goes into etiquette of communication and accents. I must say something about accents. Accent is simply a factor of culture. We do speak great English in Kenya, but it doesn't make us superior. In fact, let me say this to summarize. Being a leader doesn't make you a superior person. If you can remember that, it would keep you humble. Leadership is nothing other than a role. The art of communication is the language of leadership. That completely summarizes it, doesn't it? It is in, in your communication that your leadership is seen and we're going to go into activities in the next session where we are going to be able to practice that and see how well we can, we can communicate. I love my group, I love the women. Um, it was um, very productive. There is a new lesson that I've learned and people have said uh, men have been taking advantage of it. For example, when you introduce yourself like Honorable, but most of the time women just introduce their plain name. Yeah, 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 so it yeah, doesn't yeah, give yeah. them more advantage. Uh -huh. So with that, I'll call myself Honorable Editor of the hey. Nairobi County. Come on. Miss President. Come eh? on. <laughs> so. Communication is everything in leadership. Some of the things that we take for granted, especially on internet <laughs> communication, I think that was something that I am going to correct a great deal. You are watching Miss President. Over 1,000 applications were received from all over Kenya and from the 70 contestants were shortlisted. After a series of auditions, 40 women were selected and they will battle it out at the academy where they will go through a process of training, tasks, challenges, problem-solving activities, presentations and eliminations to eventually be elected Miss President. Now, since leadership doesn't work in a vacuum, the contestants are divided into four groups. Leaders are required to work with people from all walks of life. While working within these groups, the contestants will be tested on their ability to lead or work as part of a team. You can be sure that at every stage of this competition, you will be at the edge of your seat as these capable women try to convince the judges and you at home why they should make it to the next stage of the competition. And now, a quick look at the parties before elimination. 
Remember, somebody from each party will be going home tonight. As of now, each group does not have a president. You have two minutes to elect a new one. Starting now, two minutes to elect a new president. Two minutes. After one day at the helm, each party leader or president, as we refer to them at the academy, must step down and hand over to a newly elected president. The president will then appoint their spokesperson. This is normal tendency when a president-elect chooses his deputy president. And these are the presidents elected by their parties for this episode. And these are the spokespeople elected by their parties for this episode. Have we learned something about communication so far? Yes. It's time to put it to the test. This is the exercise. You'll have only two minutes to do it. The new spokespeople for each group will be given a diagram. They will describe the diagram standing here. You will draw the diagram they are describing. Which group would like to start? This is about leadership. Good afternoon group. Um, so now this is what we are going to draw. Pay keen attention, not to me, to what I say. Okay, you're going to draw a large rectangle, a large rectangle, and then you're going to draw a triangle in the middle. Not a very large triangle, but a triangle, not a large triangle in the middle, but a triangle. Not too small, just a medium triangle in the middle, and then a small egg in the middle of the triangle. At the bottom of the triangle, draw a curve, one looking at your left at the end of the triangle. You see, at the bottom, on your right at the end, at the triangle right, your triangle has got two ends. One right, which is your right. Yeah, draw a curve at the end. Draw a curve at the bottom of the triangle. Are you guys at the bottom of complete? Bo sorry, 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 I made a mistake. Okay, it is well. Keep calm. Sorry, I meant... Okay, tr let's start again. A big rectangle and then a medium triangle at the middle and then the medium triangle has an egg in the middle. Are we all there? It has a small egg in the middle and then the bottom of the rectangle. The bottom of the rectangle on your right side. Draw a curve a curve and then the other side draw another curve of the rectangle not the triangle right you're on the same page okay all right i want to assume that you have drawn the first one thank you very much sprint team spokesperson is next we here we go ladies draw one triangle on the left edge of the paper draw a second triangle on the far upper right hand side of the same paper. Join the top of the first triangle to the top of the second triangle. Join the bottom right of the triangle to the bottom right of the other triangle. Bottom to bottom, same side. Bottom to bottom, same side. Join them. Then, with the dotted lines, with the dotted lines, show 
how this triangle would look from inside with bottom line dotted lines show how the, li- the the contours of the two triangles as they have joined demonstrate that the two triangles are joining using dotted lines <laughs> thank you let us have the third spokesperson come up i attend nalo on the on the left side of your paper lower left side draw a small rectangle a small square on the left side of your paper draw a small square yeah small on your right side of the paper the middle right side farthest right side draw a circle on the middle but on the right side draw a circle and then you you draw a a straight line from uh, the small square inside the small square to and then it will go through the inside the circle join the small square and the circle to, uh, using a straight line when you've already done that draw a a zigzag line from the zigzag line should cut across the straight straight line it okay you and the chin it okay you and the chin it cut across the straight line the zigzag line okay okay i'm assuming you have drawn So far you should have how many pictures? Three. We all have 3. Yes. Let's have the final spokesperson here from the red team. Okay, um on the left side of your paper half um a bit a distance between the middle before the middle above. Are we on the left side of our paper? Yes. The far left. Draw an oval like an egg. a short distance after the oval below it towards the right draw a rectangle make sure there is a space between the oval and the rectangle not too big not too small have you ever seen a leaf um i want you to draw a leaf from the farthest side of your oval that you know a leaf has three lines right the one on the left the one in the middle and the one on this other side so i want you to make sure when you're drawing this leaf it touches one side of the oval to the further to the left um to the left side of the rectangle the bottom part of the rectangle the the oval right we are on the left side of the oval the arc starts from the left side of the of the oval to the bottom corner of the rectangle you understand me bottom corner of the rectangle so i want you to re- draw an arc from the oval left left side of the oval that connects to the uh left side the bottom part of the rectangle the rectangle is in a bottom ya juu na bottom ya chin sasa hiyo bottom ya chin mwa connect hiyo arc from the other side of the oval to that side of the rectangle left side of the- oh my god <laughs> ladies 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 how did that go how did that go which one was the easiest the first one which one was the hardest the last one the last one the least the least The judges are coming round and they're looking at your shapes to see what it is that you drew. Mume sio tukumbe. All right. I want us to reveal in the same order. So she is going to show us what she was describing and the members of her team are going to hold up what they drew. 
Uh, so, ladies, group yellow, this is what I was trying to communicate. Viviane. Almost. Well done. Almost. Almost. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. They all did a good job. Communication was taking place, wasn't it? There was some communication taking place. Thank you very much, spokesperson. All right, green team. There was here you needed to do a three dimensional. Yes, there was an element of three dimensional. She actually said three dimensional, did she? She did say, she did say the dotted line should show the other side of the. the Yes, she mentioned that. That was the three-dimensional part. All right. Thank you very much, Madam Spokesperson. From the blue team. <laughs> I like the cheer. I, I see good representations of the picture. Was there no drawing happening here? Okay. All right, thank you very much. All right, the final group. I'm looking for something close. I'm looking for something that's close. Did we have a single person draw a leaf? Okay, thank you very much, spokesperson. <laughs> A quick debrief, ladies. What are we learning here about communication? Listening. When I'm describing something, you're drawing a picture in your mind. So you will want to be as descriptive as possible when you're communicating. You want to be able to communicate from the point of view of the hearer, not from your own perspective. Sasa, I think we've learned quite a bit about communication from this exercise. Each one of you will walk into the invisible office and you will pick one person in your group who you think I won't say weakest or strongest who you think should go yes you will pick one person who you think should go okay um, personally I would this is the toughest decision to ever make Um, it's a tough call, but um, okay, okay. Uh, let me sacrifice myself for my group because it has capable women, and I know they are going to perform me. For perform it, especially the young women in my group, they are very good and they can articulate issues very well. You are watching Miss President. Over 1,000 applications were received from all over Kenya and from the 70 contestants were shortlisted. After a series of auditions, 40 women were selected and they will battle it out at the academy where they will go through a process of training, tasks, challenges, problem-solving activities, presentations and eliminations to eventually be elected Miss President. Now, since leadership doesn't work in a vacuum, the contestants are divided into four groups. Leaders are required to work with people from all walks of life. While working within these groups, the contestants will be tested on their ability to lead or work as part of a team. You can be sure that at every stage of this competition, you will be at the edge of your seat as these capable women try to convince the judges and you at home why they should make it to the next stage of the competition. And now, a quick look at the parties before elimination. Remember, somebody from each party will be going home tonight.
Okay, so um, in a few minutes, uh, that dreaded moment in every reality show to play, and that is um, elimination. And this time around, of course, four people get to go on today. Uh, have you seen any potential presidential material in there? Of course, there's a lot of uh, potential for women uh, to be president in that group. There's a lot of good vibes I yes. get from them. Yes. But uh, one of the things I noticed which made me a little like... Mm, do, On the negative. Mm. Well, not really. Maybe it's just something about sometimes when women are put in places where they have to compete and they start feeling a bit shy about competition. And I don't Thank know that you. that's oh. what they think inclusivity means. Yes. But there can only be one president. Is, is it a woman thing that you feel you have to be inclusive? It, it has been an, an, an all-inclusive exercise, even if it's a one seat, one prize. Chris? Well, I think that's part of female. <laughs> That has to be part of femaleness. I think as ladies, we are less competitive than men are, mm -hmm. for sure. Because even when we said, let's have one president and one spokesperson per group, we soon had everyone speaking, yeah. mm -hmm. which interfered with the time management and everything. We have a tendency as ladies to try and be more. But when we pointed Point it out to them, then of course they, they, yeah. they realized that this wasn't what was intended. When I, I looked for the authentic Kenyan politician, there's something in Kenyan politics that we are into. And I was checking if they would, you would try find it, yeah. whether they would try to it. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to mimic the traditional way we know politics. The sloganeering mm -hmm. was quite mm -hmm. funny at the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it seemed to, to continue in every group. Uh, so it seems like they were trying to bring out what they've learned from the best. I, I just wish that they could just embrace that uh, personality. Because there were also those who were shy at the beginning. Yes, and now very strong. Yes, very and then strong. towards the end, then their voice came Absolutely. out. You could see their character. And I'm excited to to look out and see what will happen in the next episodes. How much more character uh, will uh, come out. So who is staying and who is going out? Well, it's about that time when um, some people have got to go and support Miss President outside the precincts of the Academy. So judges... I think this is one exciting moment because it uh, increases our chances of getting the final Miss President. If we look at the positive side, yeah, we'll proceed to the first uh, group. So I'll begin by calling Jemima Gutata. Please come forward. Could also be followed by Caroline Owen. Please come forward. Could Asha Kudura please come forward? Mary Mudachi, please come forward. Halima Garat, please come forward. Lucy Daisy, please come forward. Editor, please come forward. Gertrude Krugat, please come forward. Mary Miano, please come forward. You have been nominated as the weakest links in your particular groups. And uh, because we want to be very fair, we'd like to give each of you a chance to tell us why you think you should stay in the house. I feel I should stay because they may have judged me through my physical limitation. So I know at times they may call me, I cannot be there on time, but I know I can make it. And I think as a leader, I don't have to cry because I know even out of here, I can be still a leader, and I have been a leader, and I will remain a leader. I am that force that you come across as a weak link. It is easy to judge me that way. But I know my power, because I've been in this game for longer than you may think. So I cannot blame you, it is human. You may have missed the strength in me, but I believe I have what it takes to become Kenya's next president. And I will believe that till the day I die. For me, I feel this is not fair uh, because uh, I contributed all along in the group. And even most of the points that are in the manifestation are my, my own idea. I will just live knowing that I was treated unfairly. But this far, it's okay. I say goodbye with a good heart. I uh, understand their group dynamics and stuff, but I think my reason as to why I want to stay is that uh, I believe 
the teamwork that we have done with my team up to this point, I have cooperated enough. Uh, I've given out my ideas and uh, despite the conditions that come because I'm almost due, but I think I should still remain because I have the capacity, I have the ability uh, to be the Miss President. Up to this level, I don't know my weakness, seriously. Because in any agenda or in any topic that has been raising the group, I normally take part. Apart from that, I believe I'm confident enough to take part in the competition up to the last fair level. We had agreed that I would be the spokesperson before coming inside. Then the president appointed someone else without consultation. And I complained because I hate being angry. I like talking it. And that one is one of the reasons that I might be told I'm doing bad. Because I like saying it as it is. I don't have to hate you. I just tell you I'm not happy because of this and this. And I apologize. That is, I apologized. And it is, we are leaders, but we are human. You can get angry. So I would like to say, I believe that I should be given a chance to remain in the academy. Thank you so much. Women power. Women power. And for me, yes, Miss President is a competition. It's a very tough competition. And the reason why I would love to stay, it is because I have a task tomorrow. If I'm not going to be in that group, my voice is not going to be heard. But in this struggle, in this fight, I'm with you. And if I go home today, believe me, I'm going to watch KTN. Follow you women. I'm going to support you all. Women power. Forward with women in front line forward. I want to say I am grateful to my team for the opportunity you have given me to be with you and to work with you. And I would like to continue working with you for the betterment of our team and so that the next president of the Republic of Kenya would be someone who was built in this program called Miss President. Thank you so much and God bless you. I feel that I need to be here in this academy. One reason is that when I came, I never heard that I was a pastor. I said, and I influenced people to worship the Lord. I went to an extent of influencing you to Kuchangia for a girl who came here and she did not have even oil to apply. And the money that you gave, you realize that I was an honest reader because I gave that girl, I never took that money as the pastor of that day, but I gave that money so that I could touch the life of one of us. And now, without much further ado, Group Red, Jemima Kutata and Caroline Owen, please stand up. Caroline Owen, we are sorry to say we'll have to let you go home, but we are very proud to have you, have had you in the house and uh, because of your leadership qualities. And we hope that wherever you go at home, you will still continue to become the leader that you are and even bigger, creating a bigger impact to the society. Thank you very much. Uh, Jemima, you can go back to your seat, but as you remain in the house, I want you to change your perception. So whenever you're given a chance to speak, speak like a leader uh, for everyone. People saw the leadership character in you, not the disability, and I think you need to understand. Okay? Then uh, group two, we have Mary Miano and Asha Kudura. Mary Miano and Asha Kudura. Mary Miano, your pitch for today actually stood out more than Asha's pitch for today. At least when we asked the question, why do you think you should stay in the house? You gave us valid reasons that blinded every reason uh, as to why you were nominated. And for that reason, we will give you another chance. <laughs> Asha Kudura, uh, because uh, of the same reasons that have points were stronger than yours, we will uh, let you go home. However, we still believe that even as you nurture our baby, this is now our baby, yeah? <laughs> even as you nurture our baby, 
you will make her know that you are once a Miss President in the house, and even in the process, you will still pursue the urge to become a public leader. Thank you so much. <laughs> Group Green, we have Mary Mudachi and Halima Garat. Halima Garat, you still do not know where your weakness is, and that is not good for a leader. Mudachi, you're blaming everyone. As a leader, you need to learn to take responsibility for whatever happens, not blaming people, because mistakes will always happen. And for that reason, we will let you go home. Halima, congratulations. You'll continue staying in the house, but we believe that you have a very short time to point out your weaknesses and to work on them. And now to the group with women with powerful voices. <laughs> so we have Lucy Daisy. It is good you realized your mistakes, your weaknesses, and you're ready to improve on them. That is what I hope. You have a very short time to improve on them. For that, we are giving you a chance, hoping you improve. And uh, to get to Kurgat, we are also very proud that you still have that voice and you really, at least when you were asked the question why you want to be a leader, you pointed them out very clearly and even your contributions came out clearly. So for that reason, congratulations, you will stay in the house. <laughs> Editor, you nominated yourself. No leader in the world, especially who is here for public office, can ever nominate themselves. It may come out as a sign of selflessness to some, but being a president is a fight for the fittest. Anyone who wants that seat cannot allow anyone else to have it. And for that reason, we felt that you allowed yourself to be in this spot. I want to believe that through the networks you have made here, the grassroots women uh, initiatives are still going to be supported. I see a lot of powerful women here, and kindly let us support it in an initiative. And to those who are still in the house, congratulations. I was really flexible. And also being a feminist, we look at things differently. And when you are in a race, and there are some women who are capable, not because I don't believe in myself, I believe in myself very much. But also, if a woman is there and she's really capable, you're supposed to sacrifice for that woman, not in a bad way. Were it not for the judge, I would be home. So I think, I think the arrangements that you have to have a fair hearing from the judges. I will work on knowing that I can be positive, knowing that I shouldn't look at my group members as people who want to eliminate me again. And that way I will move forward and work on my anger management. And I, and I believe that that is one of the things I want to learn before I leave here. I am so sure I was not nominated by the entire group. I am so happy that Daisy Lucy has actually apologized today in front of the judges and in front of everyone about her being temperamental. And uh, I keep no grudges and I'm happy that I am safe for today. I'm happy that I've been in uh, the company of great women, leaders who have great skills, great knowledge, and I know we have uh, potential to become Kenya's president as women. For me, I'm not really discouraged, and that's what I'll tell the other uh, remaining contestants. They, they, they should be focused in what they really want. Leadership doesn't end here. We are leaders in our own spaces and different ways. This is a competition. We have to expect what will, uh, will come out. Because as we are really looking for that Miss President. And whoever will win, we are going to support them. I'm sorry about it, but really, my, I cannot leave my points, my contribution, my name. The mustard seed political party is my name, with people to ride on it, because they're already working against it. These leaders who have elected, they will just gun up to, to eliminate the person who they think can be the best candidate. After a busy and highly charged day at the academy, it's time to take a breather. For some, 
probation calls for a meeting with self in order to assess all change strategies so as to remain in the competition. For others, the tears and goodbyes to newfound friends will close the day. Did you see that? Ati nominates each other for elimination. Oh, Miss Kiyabi. Tried and tested, they have been taken on a rational and emotional roller coaster. Palam says, the laws of the jungle prevail, and this is survival of the fittest. This group of women continue on a long and grueling journey that will demand their very best. So let's see who advances steadily through this labyrinth to emerge the queen of the jungle. By the way, thoughts, opinions, compliments, suggestions? Anything you want to say? Tweet us on at media underscore focus, Facebook at media focus on Africa, uh, Instagram, take a selfie as you know, as you're watching Miss President, and say it to us on at media focus on Africa. This is what Ngozi Okonji Iweala said, and I quote I believe that when you find problems, you should also find solutions. You won't want to miss the next episode of Miss Present, by the way, where another fascinating topic will be tackled, followed by tasks to test the mettle of the contestants. See you then.